Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Good evening, my dear friends. Here is Geraldo Lemos Neto from Portal Saber Espiritismo in Belo Horizonte, Brazil. And I'm here with Marco Gundred to do the program to know Spiritism number 109. Tonight, we are going to restart the studies that were performed a little before the pandemic that is entitled Life in the Spiritual Realm According to Spiritism. And we are doing it week by week and hope you enjoy our study. We are basing our studies in the works of Allan Kardec, in the works of Chico Xavier, and also in the subsidiary works of Emanuel Swedenborg from Sweden. Uh, first, from the Old Testament, we can see that Moses, chapter 1, versicle 2, in the book of Genesis, it is said, the earth, however, was is without form and was empty. There was darkness on the face of the abyss. So we can therefore conclude that before earth was a habitable board that could receive life in various form, there were only a primitive world, a primitive world that probably had only three spheres of life that were the crust in formation with no life at all and two spiritual planes of darkness and also the abyss, where we know all the evil spirits are held or leave. And probably at that time, Earth received those spirits as a penitentiary, as a, a spiritual penitentiary. Then, centuries after the, the work of Moses, we saw the good word of Jesus Christ, our Lord, with the revelation of love. We understand that Moses was the one that had the responsibility to reveal what we can say is the justice, the divine justice, one eye for an eye. And centuries later, we know that Jesus Christ, that is our Lord and our divine messenger, came to reveal the second, second great revelation that is the revelation of love. And one of his apostles, John, at his gospel, chapter 14, versicle 1 to 3, wrote the word of Jesus himself. My father's house has many dwellings. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also be, may be where I am. At that point of time, 
some 20 centuries ago, Jesus Christ himself was revealing the works that he was performing, uh, making sure that earth had so many spiritual plans where life in a higher sphere, sphere could be harnessed and where uh, the spirits after knowing his good word of the gospel and after they perform their own evolution in regards of moral and ethics of Jesus could live in peace after death. And we can understand that he were telling us at that time that he were preparing those higher spiritual planes for us in the future of humanity so that we could also evolve in spiritual manners to live a higher way of living. And after th that, we can also cite this uh, lesson from John the Apostle, chapter 12, versicle 32, where Jesus will prepare a place for us. And this may mean that he would construct the spiritual realm above the earth's crust. Of course, we understand that we live as human beings incarnated in the earth crust. And at that time, Jesus said, and I, when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself. We can understand that the, the uh, call of Jesus was for everyone, every hu human being on earth, so that they could go his path to the truth and to love, and so that they could go the escalator in the spiritual realm that we're being prepared. Now we're going some 18 centuries later when in Sweden and also in Denmark and in Great Britain lived a medium of Swedish origin that was called Emanuel Swedenborg. At that time, this medium had the mediumship, mediumship to, to go out of the body, to experience the out of the body uh, travelers traveling. And he would go and perform this kind of mediumship so easily and he would come back in Sweden and he would remember everything that he saw in the spiritual realm and when he came back to the the, the body he remembered everything and wrote about it and published at the, the 18th century, he, he published uh, some, some books uh, telling us ab around about his experiences. And he lived uh, around 100 years before the works of Alan Kardec in the 18th century. As I told you, in Sweden, mostly but also traveled to Norway, to Denmark, to, to Finland, 
to Germany, and also the Great Britain. In this book of Emmanuel Swedenborg, the book is called The True Christian Religion. He taught us almost one century before the Spiritist revelation. And he was so clear about the spiritual world and about the spiritual pla planes of life that we can relate his works with Spiritism one century later uh, with the works of Allan Kardec himself. And also we can relate easily his works with the works of the spirit Andrea Luiz through the medium Chico Xavier in Brazil two centuries later in the 20th century. As you can see, we can read there that the universe is composed of different spheres in various degrees of luminosity and happiness. These spheres will serve as home in the afterlife on earth according to the spiritual conditions that we have acquired. So this is so clear that I'm, I, the first time I got to see this, this book, I was astonished about how much it is related to Spiritism, to Alan Kardec and to Chico Xavier's works. And he is very clear about uh, the existence of various types of spiritual planes, various spheres of life after death, and those spheres serve as home of, for the ones that are disconnected, for the ones that leave the body life on earth and go to the afterlife. And he is also clear that the conditions of those spheres of life is always related to the spiritual conditions that the spirits, the disconnected spirits have conquered. Uh, so because of that, so that we can understand that the universe is composed of different spheres in various degrees of luminosity and happiness according to the various degrees of evolve, involvement and also spirituality of the human being. Let's see what else we can read at this wonderful book by Mr. Emmanuel Swedenborg, The True Christian Religion. And there we can read. The things I have seen for so many years, of course, he is telling us about his mediumship experiences of out of the body travels. And he is telling us that everything he have had seen for so many years, as he says, he says, I can make the following statements. In the spiritual world, there are lands as in our natural world. There are plains and valleys, mountains and hills, as well as springs and rivers. There are cities and in those cities, there are palaces and houses. There are writings and books. There are functions and trade. 
there is gold, silver, and precious stones. In a word, both in general and in particular, there are all the things in the natural world, but these things are immensely more perfect in heaven. This is so amazing because it's so much alike what the spirit of Andrea Luis wrote through the mediumship of Chico Xavier in the 20th century, almost 200 years after the work of Mr. Emanuel Swedenborg. And he is telling us that the spiritual realm are so much alike us because, of course, uh, dependable on the spiritual conditions of those inhabitants of the spiritual world. Uh, nevertheless, there are, there are cities, organizations, there are uh, also homes, palaces, there are also books and writings, and I can assure you, you that I, I have uh, heard from Chico Xavier himself that, uh, he, that we could find easily books there in the city of our home, Nosso Lar. So, and also he is telling us that there are functions of life, functions of society also in those spiritual cities that are trade, there is also precious metals like silver, gold, and precious stones. And also there are lands and plains and valleys and mountains and rivers and also crops. As we can see, Andrea Luis stating in those books that he wrote through Chico Xavier. So that we conclude that the spiritual revelation about life in the spiritual realm was coming to us here on earth step by step, one degree after one degree. And the preparation of the third great revelation that were spiritism, the spiritist doctrine, doctrine that was the, the great consoler promised by our dear Lord Jesus Christ some 20 centuries ago, that he would uh, send to us to give us comfort, remembering all of his words of the gospel, and also to explain everything to us. And we know that spiritism, that the spiritist doctrine as the revelation of the truth is Jesus' consoler, is the consoler. And because of that, a great preparation of those kinds of revelations were performed by the higher spirits. And we can see that the work of Mr. Emanuel Swedenborg, a Swedish medium that lived in Northern Europe in the 18th century, was a preparation for the, the coming of Spiritism one century after him through the works of Allan Kardec. And that's why we can see in the Spirit's book, in the opening of the Spirit's book, that his name, Emmanuel Swedenborg, is put there as one of the higher spirits 
that are part of the phalanx of the spirit of truth. And we are ha very happy to see how the revelation came to us one step after another. And those sayings by Mr. Emmanuel Swedenborg uh, were very much important. And to close our program today, we are going to continue to study this matter for the next programs of To Know Spiritism here in Kardec Radio, in Spiritism Network, Spiritism, uh, Discover Spiritism Network, and in Spiritism Dissemination. And uh, to close our arguments today, we can see Mr. Alan Kardec at the Spirits book that were launched in April of 1857 in Paris, uh, a word from him. This work, the Spirits book, is not a personal doctrine. It is the result of the direct teachings of the spirits themselves regarding the mysteries of the world where we will one day be, as well as the issues that interest humankind. So next program to know Spiritism number 110, we are going to see what the Spiritist revelation had to tell us about the spiritual realm. Thank you very much for listening. Hope to see you soon. Have you all a very good night. Bye-bye.